I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, so writes the psalmist. And I'm guessing he speaks for so many of us as we've been waiting for the time to return to the house of the Lord to worship together in person. It's been too long and we're anxious to see the people we've grown used to seeing on Sunday mornings. And yet we're still in the midst of the health crisis of COVID-19 and we must do all that we can to help each other remain healthy as we exercise this privilege of worship. In fact, our theme for returning is we get to take care of each other. What a privilege that is as well to be the true community of Christ who not only look upward to God in worship, but also outward to each other with every desire to protect one another from the spread of this virus. The good news is that we will be continuing with our pre-recorded traditional service broadcast on our website, Comcast Channel 189, Facebook, and YouTube. Our contemporary service will be aired as well. We understand that it will be important for many of you to remain home, and we want you to experience the fullest Church of the Palms worship possible. For those who choose to join us on Sunday morning, all three of our services, 9 o'clock in the sanctuary, 10 o'clock in the campus center, 9 o'clock back here in the sanctuary, will be available to you through a reservation process. Since our capacity will be limited to approximately 25% to ensure social distancing, we will need to know of your intention to come. If one service fills up, we are blessed to have two others for you to choose from. We ask that you reserve a place every week. The reservation process begins each week on Monday at 10 a.m. You will find the form on our website or in our daily e-blast. Make sure to include each member of your family and make sure to check the box that tells us that you agree to join us in our efforts to take care of each other. Reservations will close on Friday at noon. Please do let us know if your plans do change. If you have trouble making a reservation online, you can call the church office. When you arrive for worship, make sure to put on your face mask as you depart your car. If you don't remember to bring your own, we will provide one for you. We ask that you enter our worship spaces by the center front doors. You'll find folks at the main entrance who will happily confirm your reservation. Please check with them before entering. For only those who have handicap concerns, you can enter through the southeastern doors closest to the Palm Center. Our sanctuary and campus center will be sanitized and a new air filtration system is in place in all of our buildings to move clean air throughout. You will find hand sanitizer stations upon entry and a table with bulletins for you to pick up. Also in the narthex, you will find take-home bags for our children. Ushers will help you find seating that will allow you to remain at a safe distance from others. Do your best to refrain from handshaking and hugging. Our worship will be meditative in nature and will encourage you to listen and reflect rather than speak and sing. Singing especially is known to be a potential virus spreader. We ask that you maintain wearing your mask over both nose and mouth during your time on our campus. If that becomes onerous, it's perfectly okay to excuse yourself. Again, we want to do all we can to take care of each other. When the service is concluded, ushers will be on hand to direct you to the appropriate exits to ensure safe distancing. Offering plates will be available at each door for you to leave your offering. And of course, you may wish to continue giving electronically or by mail. Please take your bulletin with you at the conclusion of the service. In the Acts of the Apostles, we are told that one of the marks of the early church was that they held everything in common. Now is the time for us to embrace that mark of the church by holding the well-being of our brothers and sisters in common. In the Church of Jesus Christ, it's never about one person, it's always about all people. This promises to be a great chapter in the life of Church of the Palms as we bear with each other and as the Apostle Paul said, look not to our own interests, but to the interests of others. We look forward to seeing you soon as we joyfully return to the house of the Lord.